hi guys hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is Cheryl Grabowski and thank you for coming to watch my channel today today I am eating hot dogs guys fully loaded except for ketchup and french fries okay so welcome to my channel over here to the side I have a blue Gatorade. I don't know what the what they call the the blue Gatorade. I don't know. <laughs> but I just know it's the blue Gatorade. Y'all know y'all drink Gatorade. So welcome to my channel. Let me pray over my food and let me get right on into it because it's been about eight, nine, ten days since I uploaded a video. And welcome. All righty. Y'all, I put mustard on my fries. If you're here for it, leave it in the comment section. I'm so hungry. So, so, so hungry today. And y'all, this is a ballpark beef hot dog and these are the ballpark buns and if you've ever had a ballpark hot dog do yourself a favor and go ahead and buy the ballpark bun because it makes a big difference mm. I forgot to give y'all a bite. There you go. Go ahead. Mm. That is so good. Mm. So y'all, I boiled the beef hot dog first. Because if y'all know, as y'all should know, there's a lot of sodium in it. So I boil it first. I don't boil it for too long, but I boil it. And then I pan fry it. I don't add any oil to it. I just kind of toss it around so I can get the char on the hot dog. Mm-hmm. I'm going to talk to y'all in just a minute. about. I'm going to talk a little bit about this, um, excuse me, y'all, my eye issue. This tea sector on YouTube. Mm-hmm. 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 
So I was not aware. Let's, let's just just jump. I'm gonna jump right into it. Excuse me, y'all. <laughs> I'm excited about what I'm getting ready to talk about because I have to talk about it. Because I've been doing a lot of thinking about what happened on YouTube in my last two videos. I think it's in my last two videos. Mm-hmm, last two. So, I don't know if some of y'all know, but I kind of got into a little tiff, a little tiff on YouTube. And it is absolutely not my intention, y'all, to be in any kind of tiffs on YouTube. And I just want to make that plain and clear for you guys who have subscribed to my channel. And obviously you, obviously you came over to my channel because it's something that you like. And I hope is that my it's my content and it's also me. And I don't know exactly where to look in this camera, but I think that's the right spot. But I'm not sure. I think that's the right spot. So... I hope you like it. Obviously, you like it because I, I don't subscribe to anything that I don't like or anything that I'm not interested in. And as you can see today, I got slightly a new setup because this is a reboot. So I met Miss Virginia and she has a channel and um, and some of the other people, um, if I can remember the names. Um, of course, the Connection Rejection, I've done a reaction video on her two times. Um, um, CC Free, she's one of them. Um, Rosie, she's one of them. And so, a couple of other people. But through Miss Virginia, I ran into a group of women who kind of let me know about this particular content creator that's on YouTube. And I will not mention her name. But that's when the drama came to me, to my channel. And I thought I had made it crystal clear to you guys before. And I know that sometimes, you know, we upload videos and we don't look at the video in its entirety. Because I'm the same way. Sometimes I skim through. and But if I have enough time, I'll watch the entire video and I'll comment. And that's what I would super love for you guys to do for my channel. But so, in my previous videos, before you guys met me, I thought I made it plain and clear what my intention for my channel is. And I think I responded to the connection rejection. I let her know because she gave her commentary about what she feels like YouTube is. What, and I'll talk more about her in, at the end of uh, this video. And how negativity and chaos gets us up and going. But I made it crystal clear for me and my channel, I have no intentions to be going back and forth with you guys, you other content creators. As a 51 year old woman who's been through a lot of shit in my life, I am currently building myself, changing myself. And look guys, it's hard work. That's why I'm here on YouTube. I talk all about, what I talk mostly about is mental health. Because I let y'all know before, but obviously you're not watching the videos, that that is important to me. And I come to share my life and to help. I thought I made it crystal clear that I am an advocate and a pointer towards mental health and doing things a better way. Learning how to know your triggers, your traumas, and then working on your healing. Me working on my healing. Okay? I will not be on YouTube going back and forth and cussing with anybody that's in their 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, and on. It's not going to happen. I just want to make that crystal clear for you guys. If if this vibe that I have over here is not what you want, you can leave. Because I believe that there are enough people on YouTube. I believe there are over a billion people. I believe that there are enough people on YouTube that the people that need to be here will end up here. That's what I believe. Okay? 
Now, I made mention of the young lady who I spoke about in the live that I did inside the salon through um, StreamYard. It's on that video. I made mention of that, and I'm done with that. Because I have, like I said, I'm just done with it. It just reminds me of when I was much younger and when I was not so polished, when I was not uh, intentional about what I, who and what I am. It reminds me of those days. And I, I won't allow anybody to take me back there for any reason. Not even for the channel. I'm not doing it. So I just want to make that crystal clear. And Miss Virginia, thank you for um for engaging with me on my channel and the the other ladies that i met through you you know i i'm you know i like you guys everything is cool but from what i've seen since the last time i did the video until right now it's a no it's a no i i don't need a click i don't need a club i don't need a crew i'm not even that way in real life you do you know what I'm saying? I roll by myself. I've always done that. I don't even have a best friend. I, I just don't do groups. You know what I'm saying? When I left the church world, that's a lot of the reason why I left because of the cliques and the groups and the gang gang type energy. I don't I don't do those things. And I just want to come on here tonight to make that crystal clear. I don't do it. With any group of women. That don't mean that I don't rock with you guys. That don't mean that I won't listen to your content. I'll listen to it. But what I'm saying is I'm not doing it here. I just want to make that real real crystal clear. Mm-hmm. Mm-mm. No, ma'am. Mm-mm. And if I need to start a new channel, I will. Mm-hmm. But I don't have no intentions of doing that. I'm going to do what I said I was going to do right here. Yes, ma'am. The things that I saw in those lives and y'all going back and forth with that young lady. Mm -mm. No, ma'am. It's a no. And I'm I'm not saying that I'm be no better than you guys. That's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying I don't roll like that. Mm mm. Mm mm. I don't even do it in real life. I ain't going back and forth with nobody. Miss Virginia said I said what I said. No, that's how I live. If I say something, that's it. Mm hmm. I'm not saying that I want you guys to come in the comment section and engage with me and talk to me about whatever I talk about. And I, excuse me, y'all. I intend to do reaction videos on other people's content. I do intend to continue to do that, but in my style and in my way. And that is not cursing, vulgar cursing. And calling people names and stuff like that. That is so, in my opinion, that is very classless. It's very classless. Mm -hmm. And like I said, I, if, I hope I ain't rubbing y'all like you feel like that I'm acting like I'm better. But in a sense, yeah, I am better than that. I am. Mm -hmm. I'm not doing that. And we as grown women, we shouldn't do that. Even Not even for YouTube. I am shocked to shit. I am. For what I've been seeing on YouTube. Those panels. Did y'all know all that argon is bad for your body? Mm -hmm. It's bad for your heart and your blood pressure and everything. I'm just saying, we already eat bad food. <laughs> mm -mm. No, ma'am. So I said what I said about that. Let me reach back here and get my, my journal. Mm. Well, I wrote some notes. And a couple of other things I want to talk about this video. There's 14 minutes now. 
I won't be before you too much longer. But there are some of things that I want to react to. And like I said, this is a reboot on my channel. Because this is my channel. And Cheryl's going to do it her way over here. So anyway, Zaddy Chunk Chunk. I watched his last video, him and Ellie. And the, vid the videographer was there. While they were, um, I think the video comes on while they were in the bed. <laughs> and he was acting as if he was, uh, like the cameraman wasn't there and he was waking up. I thought it was cute. And I, I'm here for the, the professionalism and the movie type look that his video has is excellent. And y'all know, let me put that right there. Y'all know that it's not cheap. The things that the editing and the videographer that's there, that's filming, is that it's not cheap to do that. That stuff is expensive. And I, I like Zaddy. I see, I think I see what he's doing with his channel and where he's going. Because I watch other couples who go to restaurants and who eat food do food reviews at different restaurants. I watch stuff like that. Very much into it. I like that. And I like his vision, him and Ellie, and where they are going. That girl is a class act. I am here for it. I think it's great. If you think it's great, put it down in the comment section, y'all. Come on now. Put it in the comment section because I would love for my channel to evolve to that type of level. Not doing that thing. Not doing what he's doing. Having that type of content. No. I'm not interested in uh, reviewing food. But just I'm saying in the excellence that he runs his channel is great. And um, Ellie, I believe that Ellie has a lot of input into what's going on. I believe that that Skyrise apartment that they moved, in, moved into is very much a lot of what she wanted. And I'm here for that too. It's just great. Uh, I'm trying to think of if there's anything about how they are moving that I don't like. And I'm not going to say that I don't like it, but I, I feel like Ellie does a lot more talking than Zaddy. Um, and I don't know, you know, maybe that's just her personality or that's how he is um, deciding that it, things will go that way. But I just kind of see sometimes where she'll be going to the left and he'll kind of pull her, <laughs> her back to the right. You know what I'm saying? Um, so I've been watching that and I'm, I, it's great. So they're, they're learning how to ping off of each other and, and that's a good thing. Um, so I really like that. So what was the last, um, so going on to the connection rejection, y'all. Now look, uh, sister connection rejection. I watched your video the last time, honey. And you know, I already, I already said in the beginning that you were interesting to me from the first time that I, um, reacted to your video. I just didn't understand why you were so, why you were so dead in behind Adrian. I, I just didn't understand that. And now I find out that there are a lot of people who come for Adrian. It's not just you. Um, so, but your video, the one that I listened to, was it today or was it last night? I think it was last night. And you were very upset. Let me see which one, because it was two that I watched back to back. And I think both of them, I watched the entire videos, the entire video. So, you know, I'm helping your channel. Um, it was this woman that you were talking about. I don't know who you're talking about. And if y'all listening to this and y'all know who Connection Rejection is talking about or Sister Connection Rejection yourself, please let me know because I'm curious. I, I don't know. I'm, I'm new to this sector. You see what I'm saying? And I watched some stuff, but I don't know exactly who you're talking about. But honey, when you came out, before I get to what you said that took me so bad, I mean, I was, ha, ha. I'm talking about, I laughed, girl. It was so funny. I mean, you called this woman, a, a, you know, you talked about that gap in her tooth, girl. It was funny. You know what I'm saying? And you were very, 
but it wasn't funny to you because you were very upset because you feel like that she's lying on you. And see, that's what I'm saying. The toxicity in this sector, you know, with the lies. Now, it's one thing somebody, and I agree with you about this. It's one thing somebody covering your video, but then it's another thing when somebody make up a lie. But let me tell you about how this works. How this, this mind of ours, so it's the connection rejections is how it works. There's a little gnat flying around in here. A lot of times we be saying that people lying, but according to how this right here work, that might be how they see it. You see what I'm saying? Now y'all know I'm, I'm all about the mental health over here. A lot of times we think it, the lie thing is a black and white issue. You didn't tell the truth, you lied, but it could be very much how this person is receiving information. And it might not be to them a lie because people can pass a lie detector test based on how their brain works. Do you, do you understand what I'm saying? But you said that this woman lying on you, you said that you were, you have a video of everything that this woman said about you clips and that you had written down the different videos and the different ones, different things that she said about you. You said that for the day that you might have to take her to court. That's what you said in the video. And I, I'm there for that. I'm here for that, for that right there. Folks lying on you. And like I said, even if it's a mental health issue, some people don't know you. They listen to her video. They be like, oh, Lord, that's, that's true about you. So I'm with you with that video that you did last night and that point that you brought up about this woman lying on you. But honey, when you went in there and started calling that girl names like that, you know, it just reminded me of being in middle school on the school bus. <laughs> it just reminded me of being in middle school on the school bus, girl. Honey, you got her all the way told. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. You got her all the way told. I, I think you called her. I'm going to say this. Girl, I think you call her a buck too big. I think you call her a boat tooth. <laughs> no, you could no, no, you didn't. No, you didn't. You said a gap tooth, bitch. That's what you said. Mm -hmm. You call her that because you was good and hot. And you said people be talking about you and everything and, and all of that and talking about your looks. But I say this, uh, sister connection rejection. I'll say this, honey. You get a chance to come to Raleigh, North Carolina, hit me up, girl. If you ever, you know, <clears throat> want to recreate your look, like some, you know, your channel get to growing and you're making a lot of money, whatever, girl, call me because I'm here for that. That's what I do. You know what I'm saying? If y'all go back and look at my sister connection rejection, you go back and look at my videos, honey, and you'll see me sitting on my bed with no makeup at all. You'll see me, you know, with no hardly no hair on my head or you'll see me, you know, I, I do a lot of different things. You know, I'm here for all the, the beats. And the, and the lip liner, and lipstick, and all that. You know, I was looking at your facial features. I've been looking at your facial features to see, you know, what can be accentuated. Now, you know, it's just, I'm just telling you, honey, if you can see what I see, and you say you don't like nobody buttering you up, but see, I ain't buttering you up. This is what I do in real life, other than be here on YouTube and talk to y'all what I about what I hear and see and how I feel in my opinion about these videos and all this stuff that we older women are doing over here, older black women on the YouTube. That's why I be here for beloved. I be here for beloved too, because at the end of the day, beloved, she all right. Y'all be giving her a hard time, but she, she all right. She don't be out here ratchet and ghetto and talking all crazy and, and stuff. She don't be doing that. I, I, I told y'all I believe that uh, Beloved is genuine. I ain't saying she perfect. Her and Adrian got issues, sister issues. That's sister stuff, y'all. You know what I'm saying? Some of y'all got so mad at, uh, and this is a sideline issue. You know, I'm talking sideline now. But some of y'all got so mad about Adrian and Beloved's relationship. But like I told y'all on another video of mine, me and my sister have a problematic relationship. We were, we, we've never been friends. We don't know how to be friends. We were not raised that way. 
You know what I'm saying? So y'all get into sister business and y'all get to doing these videos and stuff. And maybe y'all, you know, you and your sister got good relationships or whatever. I don't know. But Adrian got problems. You see what I'm saying? Um, I think, in my opinion. And um, and she even said it on, on the video with uh, Benjamin's. I think that's his name. Ben something. His name is hard to pronounce. And um, she talked about her diagnoses and all. So before she said all of that, I, I knew all that. Y'all knew that Adrian got problematic. And since connection rejection, you knew that too. So, but anyway, <clears throat> another point that you made on your video, you said that somebody was threatening you. And they were talking about their family is, you know, for the streets and gang gang and all that. And you let her know. I don't know who she is, Lord. I want some one of y'all to tell me who she is, honey. I don't know who she is. But you let her know that you done been there, done that, and you're not scared of her. And that she doesn't intimidate you. I like that. Because, see, I'm the same way. You know, I'm the same way. I don't care nothing about this weave, honey. And this shimmer. Y'all see, I got some shimmer on tonight. Okay. Okay, y'all see, I'm coming. Did y'all see my blonde? <laughs> Okay, I got some shim on tonight, but um, yeah, you, I, I, folks don't scare me neither. I ain't scared of you now, bit. You, you, and you, whoever you are, from out the gate. So I'm down with you with that too. You know what I'm saying? Not being intimidated and afraid by, especially not by nobody on YouTube. This is crazy. This is crazy to me. Really? Y'all know. But um. So you was hot. You just let it be known last night, honey, just in case somebody was confused, just in case somebody didn't know what was going on, just in case somebody felt like they put some fear in your heart, just in case somebody felt like you were soft, just in case somebody didn't, knew, didn't know <clears throat> where you stand, honey. You let it be known, honey, last night. And I know it's a lot of people that don't like you. And I never said that I don't like you. I just didn't understand why you were so in behind Adrian. But now I understand a lot of people are in behind Adrian. My, my position is my heart goes out for her um, big time. You know, it, it does. But I, but I, I get you too. I, I, you, you let it be known that you ain't no punk in your heart. You know what I'm saying? Because see, that's what people be... That's what folks be thinking. They be thinking because every, every word you say isn't a cuss word and that you don't come to YouTube, you know, looking like you just woke up, you know what I'm saying, that, that you a punk. But you let us know, and I didn't know your followers, your uh, subscribers, they know where you come from. But in the last video, and I think two or three videos before that, I learned more of your history. And I like the fact, and I'm not buttering you up, but I'm just telling you in real life for people that know me, some of my clients follow me on this channel, but for people in real life, y'all, I got the sniffles. <clears throat> um, I hope y'all don't see no runny nose or not. Let me back up from the camera a little bit. But for um, for people that know me, I I like when, when obviously sometimes in life we fall down. You know what I'm saying? We can we can go low, and it's okay because it happens to everybody here and there, you know. But then you pull yourself up, you motivate yourself, you link up with the people that you need to link up with. You do what you do, and you pull yourself up. And when I heard your story on your video that you did, that was an awesome story. It's an awesome video. It's, it's awesome. And like I said again, I'm not buttering you up, but I'm here for that. I like that when people know their triggers and their traumas, and then they do what they need to do in order to pick their stuff up and, um, and be in a better place in life. Spiritually, physically, financially, psychologically, and all of it. I'm here for that because that's my story. That's my story. I've been through a lot. Um, and like I said, in some of my older videos, you know, I, I talk about those things. But connection rejection, you all right with me based on that video. And I know a lot of people don't like you because you there critiquing <laughs> other folks' videos, girl. You know how you do. Um, but you said on your video last night, you said that's your job as a content creator and um, 
someone who is um, doing a reaction on a video. So anyway, y'all, that's all I got. What, what time is it? Oh, it's been 30 minutes, so I'm going to log off. That's all I got. Kisses and hugs. Don't forget to comment and subscribe and, um, and hit the notification bell. And if this is your first time here, don't leave here without giving me a comment and let me know what you think about what I think about all the things that I said tonight. I'm not, I'm not giving a fight nobody on this uh, YouTube because I don't have to. You know what I'm saying? I'm too old and too grown for that. If somebody do a reaction on my video and talk about me, say, I don't know who she thinks she is, honey, sitting there with them bundles on her head with her bald head self and she fat and all. I don't care. Girl, I don't care nothing about that. I don't care nothing about it because I'm cute. Yeah, I'm, I'm heavy. I'm five foot two, 200 pounds. Mm -hmm. I'm thicker than a snicker. Yes, I am. <laughs> I work out though, but I eat good. You know, I don't care nothing about that. She might be saying, oh, she's sitting in that house. Woo -woo -woo. Might talk about my couch, honey, or my light back there. I don't know what you see it, that you might talk about. You know, my little missing tooth over here. You can say whatever you want. I don't care. I don't care nothing about that. I don't care nothing about it. I'm telling you I don't. And the people that know me in real life, they know I don't care nothing about that. Mm -mm. No, because I love myself. And I know my triggers and my traumas. Mm -hmm. I know a lot about myself and I'm learning more about myself. And I want to stand here on this YouTubeization right now in this T sector and tell y'all. Because I'm going to learn more about them folks that's talking about the connection rejection. <laughs> And all this crap that's going on. Another thing I want to ask, I got a question. How many of y'all come from the professional world? I, I'm curious about that. Because see, that's all I deal with is professional career black women. And the ones that I know, they don't act like y'all. And I'm trying to figure out where y'all come from. And why y'all act this way in public. Well, really, this is private because y'all in my house. So in private, wherever you at, how, why you act like that? I just don't get it. Y'all need to stop doing that. Find something else to talk about. There's so many things to talk about. I got so many things to talk about, but I feel like I can't even get to them. Because I'm instead of going through about what I hear and see on this uh, T sector. But anyway, check into your mental health. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Love you guys. Kisses and hugs. See y'all the next time. Bye.